I'm about to pull up at a repair. I will pull up in a minute. Yeah, this is the door here. Looks like they have some cracking going on. Let me go to the front door. Let's see here. How are you from the garage door company? I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> uh, I just looked at it from the outside. It didn't look, it looked like people put wood across it. My and, husband uh, did that a long time ago. Yeah. Back. It's always in the rain, wood doors, they take a beating. So. Yeah. So do so, you want to come do the house? Will it open or? Yeah, I'll open it. Oh, yeah, just go ahead and open it. Okay, thanks. Gee, they're normally happy to see you. Our cars out this morning just so that you have okay. like easy access. And there's one of the rollers that fell out. Just the yeah, other. yeah. The ball bearings they fall out of them. Yeah. And then eventually they they probably get a little stem. And yeah. There's missing ones. Yeah. I don't know how much you want to put into this door. Oh. But uh, were you considering getting a new door, you guys? No. No. Okay. Then what about a new bottom panel? I know you, it's all separating here. Can you do that? Well, we could just change one section, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, this is... Yeah, I, I know you that. think it's just a little crack, but all these cables... Well, plus this, this is bent here, you can see. Yeah, that's probably how it got cracked. But, uh -huh. but the, uh, the cables, when they go down, the reason why you have all the metal braces on it uh -huh. is because of the stress this door is under. So when it goes down, these bottom fixtures have a pin in it, and they have a cable that goes along your door and those big springs wind up and they pull on these doors when it's closed, that they're fully loaded. Mm -hmm. So with this being broke like this, uh, you know, it's, the bottom is the worst one to break. Yeah, well, I will, <laughs> so, I will um, be interested in your expert opinion. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm looking at it from the outside, uh, the bottom panel is, yeah. is, is bad. So I, and that's why you put that wood on there. Okay. So. Um, but I could service the door and just do it and what it needs today. If you want to just do that. Well, I meant, I think the bottom pan, what does it cost to get it? I don't have to look it up okay. and see the material and stuff. I think it's clad wood, but they have, it's, I, I'd have, it's a wood grain on the front, right? Right. Yeah. So. I'd have to look at it. Well, let's do the see maintenance today. Yeah. And then give me a quote for just the bottom panel or okay. a whole new door. Okay. And we'll do one or the other, but. Okay. It definitely needs it. All right, let me go through, see what it needs right okay. now to get it working. And what was it doing? How did you know besides this roller falling off? The first, it was about four days ago, I went to open it, and it opened to about here A foot? and stopped. And then I put it back down, uh -huh. and I opened it again, and it stopped in the same place. And I put it back down, and I opened it again, and it opened all the way. Was it after it rained? It's been raining a lot. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of these wood doors absorb water, even right. if they're not... Well, we just had this fence made, and the gates, you would yeah, push sticking. the door, and it would open. Yeah. So the guy who built the fence fixed it, so they were yeah. perfect, and then it rained a bunch, uh -huh. and then you not... couldn't even open them. Well, and get so a, right ca get a candle and open. wax it. Well, and he's going to come back. Yeah. He's injured himself on a Yeah, it wood expands and contracts. So, yeah. And it also, I used to have a door, and I, I enclosed a carport, and I'd, I'd have it stop an inch off the ground yeah. when it rained, and the bottom panel still got wet. Because it's like the wood sucks up the water, yeah. even if it's touching it. Yeah. So these doors do absorb wood, so they get heavier. That makes sense. So, so when the door's trying to lift it now, because of the dampness of the door, right. it's, it, it's, too, it's, yeah, it's too heavy for the motor. Yeah. But that's why I asked you, you know, they, get, they got these steel doors that are really light. Most people are getting steel doors nowadays. Yeah. They don't have, see how the ends, you can see light in them? I do. Yeah, that's because these these cables right here, mm -hmm. see those big springs? Uh -huh. They're actually pulling. It looks like your door's cockeyed too, but these these have a lot of tension on them, mm -hmm. and and that's why these ends come off the ground. It's called smiling, but <laughs> but uh, it. yeah, and then eventually all your whole door will look like that. So wow. so uh, that then what we do is we put these braces on it and we bend them so it, they're stronger that way, so that it doesn't. Even ben. See a little light right here yeah. From the right if you end. get a steel door though, you have it's all true lines, so everything is straight. You don't get any of these gaps like that, like up there. Uh -huh. That's all one piece of wood, so it's hard to make them come together perfect. Right, right, right. Yeah. So. No, no. Yeah, that's right. I, I was just asking you that if you guys were planning on. Yeah, yeah. Have you talked about it before? No. Yeah. So the springs are wound. 
Let me just let me see how heavy the door is. Yeah, it's heavy. So yeah, this door is really heavy. So yeah, it's it's the weight of the door. Mm -hmm. I can adjust this maybe to pull a little more. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's fine. I just know it needs maintenance, so I'm not. Yeah. Except the bottom okay. panel that you said, that's probably the. We should certainly do that. Yeah, I'll call and I'll find out what okay. the one of these because everything changes all, all the time. Sure. These things. So, um, I'll go ahead and do the service, Perfect. change the rollers. Okay. I'll check out the other rollers, see which other ones are feel like they're wobbly. Yep. And then, uh, looks like you've had new rollers put in here. We have from time to time. Have we? Did we do that? My husband has done it a couple of times, or he'll pick one from the, I don't know. He's, yeah, he's done it on his own, but he's not that good at fixing things. Yeah. Is he around? No. No? He's actually out of town. Oh. Because, uh, you wonder where he got them. They don't... I don't know. Yeah. He got the long one, the long stem rollers. So. Yeah, I don't, I mean, he didn't do a lot. He might have just put one back in that fell out. I don't remember. Yeah. All right, I can see that things are loose, like yeah. all these hinges. I'll, I'll yeah, it's been I'll a while since it had proper service, so okay. it needs some tender loving right. care for sure. Okay, let me uh, let me go over the door, and then sure. I find things as I go. Um, drink water or some... I actually have it in the truck. So. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, I, I got I got a, a, a water in the... No, 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 I don't need you. I, Guy just knocked over the garbage. Oh. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'm going to add tension to the spring to okay. make it make it a little lighter for it to lift, okay. and uh, adjust the opener to lift more. Okay. Tighten everything up, change everything up, lube everything, Great. and then uh, see how it works. Great. Uh, and then I'll call. I got a call to get the price on the door. I'm, I'll Perfect. measure it out. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. All right, thanks. Okay. Okay, this door is just a, a service call. They're missing a roller right here. I'll show you when I take it off. Come over here. You can see the roller. Take it off. Put a new roller in. Oh, it goes in the bottom hole. Come back over here. Put it back on. Get them started on there. Now. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You can just leave it on the ladder there. Okay. Then... Here we're going to change a bottom panel, which is right here. It's cracked. We're going to change this bottom panel out. Here's the panel here. I got it on the truck. So anyway, you guys should learn this trade. Stop beating around the bush. I'm nobody special. They call me. I go out there. I do the jobs. Every job is I feel like I'm going to make a killing. I feel like I'm going to make a lot of money. More money I'd make in any other type of trade I'd do. More money than anything I can do. Stop kidding yourself. You're not going to make money online. You're not going to make money doing all these other fantasy things that, you know, all these people selling fantasies, that's what they are. All these people telling you to sign up for their book or sign up for their instructions, how to do it. That's all a fantasy. This is a tr real trade, a real thing you learn, a real reality, a real need. It's a necessity. People don't know who to call. I'm telling you, people are 
they're thrilled when you get there i mean they they like when you come out they, so when you show up there they're never going to tell you no never so you might as well get into this business start marketing yourself on google and yelp and your phone will start ringing off the hook you can start going out bring a friend with you there's garages everywhere they all need to be fixed they all break and they break multiple times they don't just break once you see that guy i've been out there three or four times and you know how many jobs i've been to i've probably been to over ten thousand jobs so ten thousand times three i have thirty thousand jobs i have out there if i make a thousand dollars on each one you, you do the math so anyway get involved with this business it's real important that you know if you guys are thinking about getting into this business that you take you gotta you gotta take action though that's the problem a lot of you guys say i want to do it and then you get up to the you get up to the plate like in baseball and then you strike out you, you can't just want to do it it's not going to happen that way you have to learn how to do this learn that's the first thing you learn once you learn how to do this you're going to be anxious to go out there and do this and then you're, once you do it and it works, you're going to love doing this. This is going to be an accomplishment. Every, t every job is an accomplishment. And then on top of it, they pay you all kinds of money to do it. So anyway, I hope to see you sign up for this class. You could go to www.garagedoortrainingschool.com. Learn how to do this. There's a lack of garage door technicians. Your phone will ring off the hook. One guy in an area can't handle all the work. There's not enough time in the day. So guess who they're going to call? They're going to be calling multiple people. That guy's not going to answer his phone. If he gets busy or if they call you first, he's going to say he can't get there till tomorrow or the next day. They're not going to want to wait. They're going to call the next ad. It's going to be you. You're going to say, I'll be there in 30 minutes. They're going to say, great. You're going to show up and you're going to make the money. That's how it works. That's how life works. So you just run the ads. People will call you. You'll say, I'll be there in an hour. And you go out and make this kind of money. It's not that hard. You're not going to ever get in any business that's this little of work. This little bit of work you got to do. You got to have a few springs on your truck, a few cables, uh, and you got to drive around. And I mean, you can't go to a job and say, oh, I'll come back next week. I mean, no, people don't want to wait in this business. So anyway, so get certified, learn how to do it. We tell you where to buy all the parts. We help you buy the parts. We help you. We even help people with their web page if you need you know help getting your web page getting your business off the ground we help you with all that stuff we're not going to do it for you but that's not part of the class but we definitely help you we've done a few web pages for a few companies out there and they loved our web our web design and they're super busy right now we have guys that you know they call in all the time one guy called from boston and he this was back during christmas and he said he he's indebted to us for the rest of his life he said because he cannot believe how much money he's making and him and his son even worked on Christmas. And he said he, he goes into Home Depot and buys all the garage door openers on their shelf. And he drives around and he puts these in all the time. And he makes probably a thousand bucks every time he does it. This class is so worth it. If I took that class, this job, I would have earned it back, right? So to me, if you sign up for any of the other trades, you're gonna spend 40 to $50,000. You're gonna have to put at least $5,000 down. And then you're gonna have to finance the rest. And, and you can only miss like two classes you get kicked out. So, and you know, it's, you gotta stay in hotels or you gotta be there all day. I mean, you gotta sit there with 50 other people and you know, they're not paying attention to you. If you're not learning it, too bad. You, the, you're, it's gonna cost you more money to stay in the class. So why would you wanna throw your money away and learn those stupid trades where you're not gonna make any more money? This is way easier. Let's say you became a heating and air guy you know yeah it, when it's hot out people's air conditioners break and you go out you change capacitors and whatever compressor whatever they go out and do but guess what they got to go in back of the house a lot of times they got to all the time not a lot of times they got to crawl in the attics they got to go up on ladders they got to uh, go out in the heat the direct sunlight where the where the fans and the the, the fan spins out there they got to take all that apart all those parts are burning hot from the sun and you're not making any more money in this case, we back right up to the door. You don't have to go anywhere. And that's the next best one is heating and air. We feel this job is something, you know, it's not that strenuous where a man has to do it. Uh, so women are gonna be getting in this too. So you guys wanna think you're gonna get into another trade, long process, you gotta start as an apprentice. You gotta work for somebody, work your ass off, do all the hard stuff that they don't wanna do, make a little bit of money. It might sound good to you now, but when you're making this kind of money, that money sounds like nothing. Yeah, they're gonna pay you 30 bucks an hour, big deal. So 
Uh, get started with this. I'm telling you, www.garagedoortrainingschool.com is where to go. Go on the website, sign up, get your certification, get going on this. Once you're signed up, you'll be able to talk better with us. Calling us up and, and procrastinating is not going to get you signed up. So all you people that are thinking about signing up, go to the website, www.garagedoortrainingschool.com. Get this thing out of the way so you, you, you're confident enough to you know how to do this. Uh, you're not going to do it any other way. So you're not just going to be able to know how to do it. If someone called you right now, and told you to come do a spring change, you would have got there and said, I don't know what the hell the first thing to do. But if they call you after you take this course and you go out there, guess what? You're gonna know how to do it. All you gotta do is tell the guy the price. And we give you price sheets as well. You just gotta laminate them. We give you price sheets, what to charge customers. We we give you, uh, you know, all the tools you're gonna need. We show you what tools you're gonna need. We have a video for that. We, I mean, there's so much that comes with this and you get a lifetime membership to the class. So by the time you get to a job, if it takes 30 days before you get a call and then you finally get out there, like on most hands-on classes, you're stuck on your own. So on our class, we have little mini videos on the website where, and they're all, they're all labeled. Like if you want to, if you forgot how to reset the cables, which side to put on first, all that stuff. All you got to do is go to that little resetting cable that they're all labeled and watch a little five minute video, whatever five to 10 minute video, it'll show you exactly how to do it again. It refreshes your mind. So you're not on your own when you get to a job. It's like you have a mentor in your back pocket. Anything that you want to do, like, you know, you forgot how to identify torsion springs. You go right to identify torsion springs. You can look it up and then watch a little video. It'll show you exactly how to identify them. And then you'll say, oh, okay, this is a left, this is a right. I mean, any little thing we, we have on there, this class is so worth it.